Okay, so this is another thing I have to do today. What is it? What was I going to talk about? Uh, in a day. Oh, I have to change my bandages. So, yeah, that's a painful process. It is the only pain I have, is my open wound, specifically under my lower left protruding root rib. Yeah. That area is bendy, it's flexy, it's, it twists and turns, and bandages do not like to stay on them. In my case, bandages without any adhesives, which is all I can manage. Um, I use a calcium, oh, acetate, maybe it's called. And uh, so there, yeah, it's just, it's just a pad, a flat pad. Looks like, looks like a white piece of, felt um, and I kind of cut it modify it to fit over the areas it's all over my chest which you know they cut off my breasts a long time ago and it's just me and my scars from babies and mastectomies and whatever else I had done <laughs> so lots of stretch marks and and old skin <laughs> because I did lose a heck of a ton of weight. Uh, I was a much larger person. So, uh, yeah, it's just leaving, keeping them on, you know? It's like slather Vaseline on these and put them right on top of the wound. And then if I get dressed and heat up and stand up or sit up, the heat causes the Vaseline to melt and they slide off my body. So keeping them in place is tricky. It's easier just to run around like this um, so I can keep close tabs on them and uh, yeah, but I have to go out. I have to go plant shopping for another video. So I'm going to get my bandages changed. Okay, this is pretty much it. Um, forgive how unsterile the whole thing looks, but uh, I am fairly careful. Anyway, so this is my alginate. That was that was the word. Uh, calcium alginate, uh, large band aid. Uh, these are short ones that I always take off the end because I don't need it quite that long. This is petroleum jelly mixed with triad, uh, which is this. Oh, it has three things in it, but um, the, the main thing is zinc oxide, I believe. And then this was a compound my dermatologist uh, had made up for me specifically um, because she took a culture of my wound and I needed um, to deal with those, uh, not parasites, but bacterias and things. Anyway, uh, so specifically the culture named them all and so this is to deal with them and uh, clean it all up and help purify the wound so it can heal better. And for my Proverbs, chapter 4, 12, and 13. Nope, 11, 12, and 13. I have taught thee the way of wisdom. I have led thee in right paths. When thou goest, thy steps shall not be straightened. And the footnote says that is interpreted to mean distressed or hampered. So when thou goest, thy steps shall not be hampered. And when thou runnest, thou shalt not stumble. Take fast hold of instruction, let her not go. Keep her, for she is thy life.